Hello and welcome to Sue's Resin Tip of the Day. Today's tip is to keep it simple. My name's Sue Finley and I've been creating resin pieces for over three years now and one of the major things that I've found people asking is how to not overwork a piece or I've got a hot mess, what do I do with it? Um, I don't know about using colours and different things like that. So the, the biggest thing that I would say is to keep it simple. Now, my when I first started out three years ago, I was trying to do what everyone else was doing when they start out, trying to create elaborate pieces that were big, fanciful, um, full of colour, and they just turned into a hot mess and I was not happy with what I was producing. I was overworking it, trying to get it to work for me and it just wasn't happening so I actually decided to take it back to basics and decided to work with a maximum of three colours only and keep the design very very simple like in this one here where I've split the board into two and I'm creating a very simple design using just two colours at the moment but I do come back and add some extra layers to this but the whole point of it was to keep it simple and once I started doing that I then discovered that I was producing pieces that I really liked and my customers really liked because they started selling, I started getting people asking me what I was doing um, and it was a result of these simple pieces that I was creating that I started this YouTube channel. So for me that was a big turning point in that I then realised that yes, I can create pieces that I, I enjoy making and that my customers are likely to buy. So I do sell quite a lot of these and this particular one that I'm working on is a commission piece and it is going to be turned into a table. But the point is, is I've just kept it really, really simple. So once you have your basic design, then you can then come back and create some added interest. Again, I'm only using three colours. I'm using silver, white and the blue. And I'm just keeping it really, really simple, just following the the shape of the design that I come up with. And then I just use some mineral turpentine and a heat gun to blow it about to create the cells and lacing etc and as you can see there's not a great deal to this design but it ends up being quite a dramatic piece once everything has cured and dried so if you like me in the early days used to create a hot mess and overwork a piece and use too many colours and try to do too much then take things back to basics like I have done with this one and you'll find that you'll, your resin work will improve quite dramatically. If you would like to see the full length version of this video in more detail then pop on over to my website I shall leave a link in the description below I have many videos on there to help you in with your resin process so like I say I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel I will be bringing you more resin tips as and when I produce them so until next time bye for now